Oh, hey there, people. It's like Friday afternoon. Just Friday afternoon. 12.01 in the afternoon. I just got up. I'm drinking me a coffee. It's pretty tasty. I'm trying to really wake up, but I can't because I don't know why. Today we got flyers, we got to work, and other things. Tomorrow we're going to my parents' house. So, pretty friggin' awesome. That's what we're gonna do. What's happening Sunday? I don't know. We'll figure that out. And welcome to my vlog. Oh, I just came back from the reserve. Um, my friend called me, wanted to know if I could take her to go pick up some cigarettes. So I was like, yeah, sure. I'm not really low. I still have three packs left, so I'm not too worried. Should have bought a carton while I was there, but I didn't. Instead, I bought these mini vanillas, $7.50. And surprise, surprise, they're not too bad. They come in this metal tin. I've already smoked one. And they're little cigarillos. Cigars, pinners, and they really do taste like vanilla. They're actually really tasty. I like them. No, I will not be smoking these in the house, but... Uh, because they're really, really strong. But they're really good for $7.50. Me, Reiki. I'm pretty sure Bloke would Reiki too. They have them in vanilla, cherry, caramel, chocolate. Chocolate flavored. Yup, they have that. Uh, grape. All sorts of different flavors. I really like vanilla. Always have, always will. So that's why I scooped them up for seven bucks. Why not, you know? So we got to go to work today for in, in about an hour and 15 minutes and then uh, go from there. So I don't know what the hell's gonna happen today. I should go out to the garage and really, really, really dude, you're gonna be like that? He just wants attention. He just wants attention. <laughs> yes, he does, he's so fluffy. Yes, he does. But we're gonna, we gotta go to work today. I'm gonna do flyers tonight. I was tempted to take a run out to uh, the mall. Okay, enough. Down. 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 Stop that. He does this thing where he jumps up on me and he digs his claws in and he starts doing like this. And he's like digging into my side and stuff like he's trying to dig a hole and it really sucks because, you know, it does. But uh, he's just trying to get my attention, that's all. So yeah, we're gonna have to go to, I was tempted, sorry, like I was saying, I was tempted to go to the mall and go to the dollar store and then go to, um, he's back and he's doing it again. We'll peck her head. But uh, go to the dollar store and then go to um, Bins and Bins because you can get like bulk stuff there for dirt cheap. And I wanted to get a bunch of that chicken soup broth mix and a bunch of other things. Like you can get like long whole grain rice and it's dirt cheap because you buy it by the bag full. Like you just literally grab a bag, fill it up. It's called Bins and Bins, or not Bins and Bins, Bulk Barn. That's where I was going to go, the Bulk Barn. And you can get stuff pretty cheap there and you can get it in mass amounts. So I was tempted to go scoop that up, but now that I'm home, I'm feeling a little bit lazy. I don't know. I might have a cigarette there and see how I feel in 15 minutes. Actually, I might make another coffee, to be honest with you, because uh, I need a little bit more go juice. Go juice. So you probably all heard, if you're on, you know, video games and stuff, that uh, Steam has done this mega super sale for the summer, the Steam summer sale, and um, there's a lot of wicked games on there, like a lot, such as, I bought two already, <laughs> pretty bad, but I bought uh, Don't Starve, and um, what this, I can't remember what the other one was that I bought, son of a bitch, well, what the hell was it? Oh, I can't remember what the second one was that I bought, but I bought two games off of the Steam summer sale, uh, I was just chatting with JP there over at Red Light, and uh, He's already dumped like 150 bucks in video games. I'm like, bro, holy crap, 150 bucks? That's a little off, off your rocker there, don't you think? But uh, he uses them for his streaming giveaways, which one of these nights I'm going to have to uh, pull up and start streaming. I want to get a tripod for you guys because I got some work to do. Oh, shit. I got to fix that too. Um, freaking wire on the ground. Puppy dug it out from underneath the freaking tape that I had down. But... Um, here, I'm going to set you guys up on a tripod. Yeah, I got a little bit of editing to do. Still haven't finished editing up those Cube World games. Didn't realize I made 13 episodes. But, um, we got one left to go, and then we're good. So we'll fire this on. But yeah, like, there's a whole bunch of deals on Steam right now. It's kind of ridiculous. I'm just going to log into Steam here. And I have a new invite. Done and done. Uh, okay. Just one second there, people. Um, but anyway, like, um, <laughs> once again, like I was saying, uh, Steam's been doing these summer sales, and he just dumped a lot of money into them and stuff. 
I have no idea what. Yeah, I bought a bunch of games, and it's it's brutal. Like it's so brutal to the point where Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight actually dropped a video saying uh, how to avoid getting hosed on the Steam summer sales. And what he means by that is how not to go overboard, like some people have, and spend your entire life savings on freaking video games. And I think that is freaking hilarious because. I know, I, like last year at Christmas time, I dumped a hundred bucks in video games easily. I, I put a hundred bucks into freaking Steam games, bought a whole shitload of them. Some I haven't even freaking installed on my computer yet, and been playing the crap out of them. Uh, well, I've been playing some of them. Some of them I haven't. Like we just beat um, Sleeping Dogs. We just well, oh, I got bored of that. Uh, what the frig game was that? The one that I, I I started playing. It's like Grand Theft Auto, but then I realized it was a pile of shit. Um, oh, what game was that? Uh, stand by. Saints Row the Third. Didn't like it. They got the fourth coming out, but you know, like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. The store is experiencing some heavy load right now, probably because you're giving away a bunch of games. But I didn't know this was Steam. Like, I was at Walmart a couple weeks ago, and I was in the video game section looking up shit. And they had Steam gift cards. You can buy them anywhere from $10 to like $50 increments, just like the Apple iTunes cards. And that way there you had all your, you know, you didn't have to use a credit card or PayPal or anything to buy your video games. You could just, just like iTunes, you log into the uh, the guy and you literally choose, like pay with gift card. Like you log in, you put your code in off the card and it adds 50 bucks to your Steam wallet. And then from there you can buy video games or DLCs or whatever you want. Now I'm a big, big fan of Steam, big big fan of, of video gaming on computers just because I find you get more control mainly because of mods and you're probably saying well Adam on Xbox you can get mods for games yes you can but those are mods made by the the game creator not user created mods like look at Euro Truck Simulator look at Farming Simulator, look at Minecraft um, Grand Theft Auto 4 uh, those are the only ones I can really think of right now on the top of my head you know, Minecraft, you got regular vanilla Minecraft, which is fun, but there's so much more you can do with it, right? Because you can download the user-created Tekkit and give that, now you have electricity, you have force field generators, shotguns, muskets, all sorts of new creeps, like a bunch of cool stuff you can download for it. Take that game to the next level and have fun with it. Grand Theft Auto 4, if a lot of you guys watch Nerd Cubed, you probably notice he's been playing a lot lately with the Carmageddon mod, which is basically all the cars but uh, like a motorbikes and a couple other cars the moment you touch them they go nuts they just spin out of control and fire off into the distance and come flying at you and crushing things and he's been playing a lot of that Carmageddon mod which is kind of insane you know um, even Dead Island has mo user created mods and Euro Truck Simulator somebody created some American trucks like you can get a freaking uh, international you can get all the the transports we know over here you can put those into Euro Truck and drive those you can't do that with an Xbox you can't do that with a PlayStation 3 because they will not allow user end modifications in their games they have to authorize them they have to create them they have to put them on so that's why I like PC gaming because you can buy a game for like 50 bucks and once you beat the game you can go on the internet find a bunch of, uh, of mods and stuff for it and then completely change the way that game plays and still have more fun with it. We're with like an Xbox game there's DLC but if the game doesn't have DLC once you beat it what do you do with it? Trade it in? Give it to your dog as a chew toy? You know that's why I'm a big time all about the PC gaming not a big big fan of consoles that's my own personal feeling on that because of modifications and stuff now mind you uh, like Farming Simulator, you saw the mods I installed, all the different tractors and attachments and, and, and stuff like that that's what makes that game fun to play for me so you know to each their own definitely to each their own but anyway people um, I just came in here to get my cube world all rendered up and I wanted to go over here and grab all these and move them to my pen drive. Uh, did I already upload those? <sighs> Come on, Speedy. Uh, video manager. Did I? Is those up? Yeah, those are up. Okay, close that. Probably wondering what I'm dodging here. See, I got my Yeti mic hanging in front of my monitor, and where it's sitting, it perfectly blocks out the red X that could be up in the top right corner. So yeah, I've got my, my editor over here, but over here I'm doing some other work. And so every once in a while I'll just grab this thing and just push it up out of the way, but I keep forgetting to do that and uh, stuff. So yeah, 
fun. But yeah, I want to copy all of my videos that I've rendered over to my USB drive. <coughs> Seven gigs of shit, son of a bitch. And lock that, normalize that. Perfect. Okay, so we will call this, what, what did I do in this video? I can't remember. See, that's another problem with making video game videos. When you do like me and you record forever, and then you want to uh, make a video. Yeah, I lie around in front of you. You never know what to call it. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this episode 13, testing out the new gear and getting lost. Cause that's exactly what happened. Totally got lost, so. Right on, right on. So we'll let this all render up and stuff. And um, as for me, I'm thinking about heading out a little earlier today. I'm gonna let the dog out for a shit. And I'm gonna head off to Sobeys. I wanna pick up a chicken dinner for tonight and then go from there. So let's pitter patter and have at her, people. All right, I'm gonna go let the dog out. And then uh, we're gonna head off to Sobeys. You know what really pisses me off? Like a lot of you, it's not that it pisses me off, but um, well, let me let me give you a little backstory on this. Basically, I've been getting asked, "Hey, Adam, when are you gonna do another rolling vlog where you drive and talk and stuff?" And the reason why I haven't done one in a long while, just one second, I'm gonna leash up the dog. The reason why I haven't done a rolling vlog in a while is because I lost the SD card for my friggin' uh, for my driving cam. I have no idea where it is. See, normally what I do with that camera, because it records in such a, a, a friggin' horrible AVI format, and Sony Vegas won't talk to it, Movie Edit Pro won't talk to it, nothing really talks to the format it's in. What I have to do, and this is kind of a piss off, is I have to render it through uh, handbrake first, and then once it's converted with handbrake into a manageable format, and then I can edit it with um, Sony Vegas or Magic's Movie Edit Pro or whatever I want. But I took the card out of it, brought the card in the house, did something with it, and then completely misplaced it. And I have no idea where. That's my dilemma right now. It's not in the computer. No. It's not in my other computer. It's just literally probably an Oreo's poop. Maybe he ate it. I don't know. But it's gone and I have no idea where it is. But I can't worry about that right now. Um, this thing here is doing its rendering. It's got about 14 minutes left for a 19 minute program. This is still copying but that pen drive is slower than molasses in the winter so we'll just let it be. As for me I gotta go I got things. So there will be no once again no driving vlog today until I locate that damn thing. Son of a bitch. But uh whatevs. Oh just shit my pants. Just gonna check over here to see maybe if for some reason I put it on my other desk which it is not. I need to get these installed too someday. <laughs> Probably put those. I think I'm putting one in the bedroom and one in the red room just to give me some more jam in there because that'd be nice. I like jam especially on on toast but uh as for me people i'm gonna get the frig out of here and head off to work but first off to sobeys to get some chicken and and rice so let's pitter patter and have friggin at her <laughs> mental note buy new shoes all right people just got out of sobeys no idea what time it is but it's time to head off to work so let's pitter patter and have at her all right people i'm at work now and i decided to be a nice guy i grab coffee check that out bacon jerky never even heard about it before bacon jerky pork with natural ingredients that's gonna be awesome so gonna go eat some of that and my chicken and rice. Oh no, I'm on fire. You see smoke. Oh my God, I'm on fire. No, it's a cigarette. But I'm going to head her inside and talk to you guys in a bit. Peace the frig out. Alrighty people, it's six o'clock break time. Just coming outside from my little staggerit. So far it's been pretty crazy upstairs. Not like super busy, but busy enough. And it's driving me crazy. Actually, it's not too bad. So I started watching a new old show on Netflix. Forgot to mention that there. It's called Merlin. Uh, one Bubba Mike One mentioned that he started watching it and that he's kind of addicted to it. And yeah! When I heard that on his video, I was like, huh, maybe I'll check that one out because I already finished like Stargate and I tried to watch Stargate Universe, but... That movie, that, 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 I don't know, it's, it's dicked. It's really boring. I, I didn't like it. I couldn't get into it, so I gave up on it. And I've watched some pretty shitty series out there, let me tell you. So I started watching that last night, actually, after I was done editing the vlog and I fired it up. No, I forgot to go out to the garage and check to find that diode but I know what they look like and I know where I can buy new ones. So I know where it went, I know how to hook it up. I just gotta get my soldering gun out to the garage so I can solder a new one in place and then we'll have a diode on that and that should hopefully stop the engine from smoking. And I've been thinking about just friggin' rednecking the uh, the farting, son of a bitch. Think about just rednecking the carb, as in taking the carb off and then uh, building my own gasket for it. I did it with the snow blower and it seems to hold so it should be fine for a lawnmower maybe, possibly, hopefully. My carb rebuild kit is marked as 
sent on or shipped on on eBay but freak sakes God knows when that'll show up apparently it's coming from uh, the US normally things from the US come really fast but God only knows also something I still haven't done that I want to do is buy the keyboard for my XPS 10 that little uh, tablet I bought there the Windows 8 RT tablet that I got with my laptop I should say that I got for free there. I want to buy the keyboard module for it and then uh, be a little easier to transport and things. I can just transport it like a laptop instead of having to uh, be careful with it because it is just a fragile little tablet, you know? Fragile. So I'm thinking tonight's mission, whether I choose to accept it or not, is going to be to find a friggin' SD card for that damn driving camera. Well, I'd really like to know where the hell my other one went. That was a good card too. Son of a bitch. That was one of my Lexars and they're not too shabby. Way better than these Duracell ones. These things are kife. What an amazing day out today. It's nice and sunny. I should be at home mowing the lawn. That lawn needs a cut too. I'm probably gonna have to do that tomorrow before I show up at my parents house. I probably won't. I'll probably save it till Sunday because I got nothing to do on Sunday. So I'm probably gonna dick around on Sunday. Um, I gotta get my battery charger back from Rex. I gave Rex my battery charger there because uh, he loaned his out. Hasn't gotten it back and he needed to charge the battery for his uh, the new Craftsman. And he really 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 wanted to get a charge on the battery so I, I loaned him mine to use for uh, for, for the craftsman charging there so got to get that back because my battery in the uh, white is completely fried it's it's depleted and it won't start it's in dire need of a charge so get that back from him and then put a charge on the battery get that thing back up the snot and then what I want to do is uh, hook up the diode on that red wire and see if the coil smokes anymore or the stator smokes anymore because uh, pretty sure that's what was happening because if logic if electronic logic dictates properly basically in my mind what was happening is that diode is supposed to stop power from the battery to go into the, uh, the stator and in reality what was happening was power was going back through the stator getting it right right ripping worn and hot and just cooking it and that's the smoke that I saw so by putting the diode in it won't allow power to come back over the line it'll force it to go one way which is out to the battery and in all theory that should hopefully solve the problem in all theory I don't know we'll see but anyway people it's freaking hot outside I'm almost done my cigarette I'm gonna head her back inside and carry on with this night and I'll talk to you cats later peace the Break out. Whoever said that shad flies wouldn't go after LED lights? Well, you're wrong. Just saying. You know, this year the shad flies haven't been too shabby. They haven't been too insane like they were last year. Last year they were freaking brutal. This year they're not too bad. We're not getting too many of them. Probably because it's been such a freaking cold and damp summer. But, uh, I don't know. Whatevs. So yeah, here I sit on my last break of the evening. 12.30 at night. 12.30? No, 10.30 at night. And it's been, uh, really slow. After lunch, one call. You know? But that's alright. I don't mind that one bit. Uh, probably not gonna do flyers today, I'm thinking. I might save flyers for tomorrow or Sunday, probably tomorrow, because I don't think I'm doing much tomorrow, so I can probably get them done, because tonight I'm going for coffee with Adrian, and I don't know, he said Elijah Wood, it's probably a fake name of the guy, but uh, <laughs> if it's not, then right on. Uh, I can't remember what, uh, oh, one second, let me check my text. His YouTube name is Junk Drawer Videos. No idea what kind of videos he makes, I was gonna go check him out and see what kind of videos he makes. Apparently he does some news stuff and some video responses for SourceFed. I don't know. I didn't realize we had another YouTuber in North Bay. Like, that's pretty awesome. It's, it's pretty cool when you find people that do the same thing that you do, you know, talk to cameras and stuff. And maybe, just maybe, you might be able to do a collaboration. Maybe do a little project, a little YouTube video or something. Hell, maybe even make a movie. That'd be awesome. Get a bunch of us together, write a script, try and perform it, and throw it up on YouTube, see if it actually does anything. Who knows? I have a shad fly on me. Get off me. That wasn't a shad fly, that was a mosquito. Pretty sure you got me, little bitch. I've had the worst freaking stomach acid problems lately. I'm telling you, it's just driving me nuts. Gonna have to get on my daily dose of Zantac again. Don't want to, but I'm gonna have to. Oh well, so he should go frig it. Well, here's hoping that Oreo doesn't trash the house while I'm not home. He probably will, because he's a little bastard like that. But here's hoping he doesn't, because that would suck. Oh, I love my puppy. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> He's just got way more energy than I ever had. Oh, dog's just right spun. People are like, oh, take him for a walk. That'll tire him out. Nope, that tires me out. He's so rip-roaring to go. The only way I can tire him out is I got to take him visiting. If I take him to somebody's house that he's never been at, and he'll just get so worn out because it's all new exposure to him, and it just makes his little brain go nuts, and then he ends up freaking going to CP10 as soon as he gets home. Going for a walk, he'll go trotting along, but he's never pooped. 
that doesn't poop him out. Only way, like I said, to poop him out is I got it. Like I take him to my parents' house. When I get him home, he's ready for bed. He'll, he'll go lay down somewhere and, and be a dog. Well, lately, actually, he's been pretty good lately. Like I'll come home from work, he'll be all bouncy and stuff. But all dogs are like that, right? Whether you leave for two seconds or two hours or ten hours, all dogs are right hyper when you first walk in the house because they're like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I love you, I miss you. Ah. But then you know he'll he'll come up like in the morning, like today when he was coming up to the chair and popping his head up and stuff and being a dog, you know. But he just wanted some pets or maybe he was out of food no his food was full yeah I'm pretty sure it was yeah yeah it was full when I left I looked yeah ah, they're trying to bite through my hair freaking mosquitoes so yeah I'm gonna go for coffee after this friggin had a lot of coffee today though not really I only had two so that's not too bad I don't think two coffees and a when did I get up at noon so whatevs I don't know what I'm probably gonna have tonight at Horton's thinking about not trying a coffee trying something different actually I was thinking about getting the white hot chocolate but what you do is you get them put a shot of espresso into it apparently it tastes like coffee crisp and I like coffee crisp so I'm really tempted to try that oh <sighs> thank god it's Friday though I need a couple days off just to chillax and uh friggin dad sends me a text I don't know if I already told you guys this but he's like Remember, tomorrow, barbecue, our place. We're gonna have steak, baked potatoes, and that. And he goes, if you want any special seasoning on your steak, you bring your, he's been watching my videos, right? And he's been seeing for the past two weekends in a row, I've been barbecuing the shit out of some meat, and I dry rub my steaks with that Montreal steak spice. And uh, I freaking love that stuff on my steaks. It just brings the flavor right out. Like, you don't even need to put anything onto it. Just drive her into you, and it's awesome. But uh, he told me, like, if you want any spices, bring your own spices. So I might do that. I might bring some Montreal steak spice and toss it to the, uh, the steaks. Well, to mine anyway. Dry rub it in and make it awesomer than frig because, man, does it ever give it a good flavor when you do that. Oh, hell yeah. And for Sunday, I was thinking about dicking around with the mower some more, trying to figure that out. Why does it look like I got a black eye? I don't have a black eye. Maybe it's just the lighting. I got deep socketed eyeballs. Still kind of at a shock that the shad flies aren't out in heavy force. But it is pretty chilly out right now. Not really, but it's nice weather, but it's not your typical summer night like it used to be. Before in the summer nights, it'd be so hot and muggy out here that, like, you know, the sun's gone and it's like still plus 26 out, which is pretty nice for the north. But right now, it's like, I could, I wouldn't be surprised if people are walking around with sweaters. Oh, frig, when I was on my lunch, uh, my friend, who's not my girlfriend, we're gonna give her a name soon, don't worry, people. Because <laughs> she wants to get involved in the videos and stuff, maybe possibly I don't know we'll see and um, anyway so we're out here and she showed up with coffee and she brought uh, brought her kids over and stuff because she couldn't find a last-second sitter and we're just talking and stuff and all of a sudden one of her one of her daughters is like mom look she's just, like pointing and we're like don't point <laughs> that lady doesn't have a shirt on I shit you not walking from over there coming through here and then going up this road, all this lady had on was shorts. And she was with two guys. No top. Boobs out. They're not bad. I didn't make a comment, but they're not bad. I was like, oh God. <laughs> and then my friend's like, don't stare. <laughs> but she didn't say that to me. She was saying that to the kids because like <laughs> her daughter was just like staring like, oh my God, like what's going on? And she's like, isn't that illegal? And no, it's not illegal. Women in North Bay can walk around topless. It's perfectly legal. It's just really, really not classy. You know what I'm saying? Like, they passed that law that it's perfectly legal. Women can go to the beach, take off their top, and suntan nude. But expect men to stare. Bottom line. Because we kind of like boobs. Just saying. But I thought that was hilarious. Of all the things, like, hey, let's keep North Bay classy. Let's walk around topless, for freak's sakes. Like, anyway, people, my break is over. I should head her back inside and carry on with this night. So, peace the frig out. And we'll see you guys when I get the hell out of here in an hour or so. Right on. can't see me barely is that better all right guys well i need to get the frig out of here head her home let cookie monster out i can quite possibly throw up and then uh, go from there so let's fire up the car and get the frig out of here and head home yeah buddy all right well i'm home i didn't see adrian or anybody at the uh so not quite sure oh look mardell spam is that a bill what is that eh, mardell spam trying to get me to buy another laptop the weaker version of the laptop i already bought <laughs> No thanks. Thanks for coming out, guys. GG. I think somebody wants back inside. I'm back inside. Here you go. Holy shit. Just gives me the light, mighty leap of faith. Yup, so. He must have had fun while I was gone, because I saw that toy right here. <laughs> he got all of his toys downstairs now. Look at him. Look at him just playing with it. He's so crazy. He's such a scruffy, fluffy, puppy, puppy. He's my little gizmo. Oh god, here he comes. Nope, he's going back. 
I think he's showing off his toy. Well, I did notice that his food dish is empty, so obviously he killed it. So I'm gonna refill his fuel, uh, fuel? Refill his fuel and water, and uh, go from there. So let's hammer down. So apparently there's some big shindig happening down in Edwoods tonight. I just got a message from Logie, and uh, yeah, he freaking messaged me. He's like, bro, get down to Inwoods now. And I'm like, dude, I'm at work. He's like, when you're done work, jump in your car and go. Okay, let me explain something here, people. <laughs> Inwoods is seven hours away from North Bay. So if I were to come home, get some stuff packed up, obviously I'd have to throw this guy in the car too. He'd have to come with me because I, I couldn't really drop him off anywhere because it's too freaking late. So it'd be like one o'clock when I left. By the time I got there, it's eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah, party's over. Hmm. But it sounds like they, there's a whole bunch of people there. Junk, uh, junkyard builds, I think his name is, is there. Uh, junk, junk star builds, maybe? I can't remember what, what Logie said. Uh, he's there, friggin' polyester's there, probably just knocking back a 48er. Um, sound pugs in the background he was talking to on this on, on the whole chat. It was uh, pretty crazy, so I was like, sorry guys, I'd love to be there, but uh, we'll see you August 17th for sure. So anyway, I just texted uh, Adrinks when I drove by the uh, Hortons, I didn't see them, and they're there now, so I'm gonna skedaddle over there. Have some coffee. Don't know if I'll be doing any filming there. Probably not. Um, you know what? Just to make sure I don't do any filming there. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and leave my camera here. So, we'll uh, freaking, I'm, I'm going out. I'll see you guys when I get home. Whenever the freak that is. Alrighty, back from coffee. That was awesome. Friggin' uh, Mr. Uh, uh, drunk Junk Drawer Videos. I've actually known him for a long time. His dad and my dad worked together and I've done some computer work for his dad and I met him a long time ago, so that's pretty freaking awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna go ahead, people, and shut her down here because uh, it's currently two o'clock in the morning and I wanna get to bed so I can wake up tomorrow and go over to my parents' house for barbecue and things, so yeah. Don't know what tomorrow's video is gonna be like. Like I said, I'm going for barbecue and then God knows what's going to happen the rest of the night. So on that note, shutting her down. If you like today's video, like button, questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.